Hey guys, so I'm rushing off to Mark Tough Market right now. I want to pick up a few things for the food tray orders that I have. Meet me at the market, guys. Oh yeah, give me 200. How much? This one, how much? You don't say one one at all. For how much one kilo? Eh? Two two. Two two. Four hundred. Eh? Four hundred now. Four hundred. Oh yeah, cut it, cut it. How much? Carrot now. Oh yeah, pack them for me. Okay, this one two hundred. Okay. So I just got back from the market, and you won't believe that the prices of everything are double. So I had to do so much bargaining. Like <laughs> I'm sure you heard me pricing things in the market. May God help us in this country. So yeah, I got turkey and I'm going to put that on fire shortly. I'm just going to add the onions, spices, you know, the ginger and the garlic and my spices. I'm going to allow that boil. I got liver also. Yeah, that was 500 naira liver. And I'm just going to add salt to this and water and allow it to boil. It doesn't take long for this to, to just get, you know, clumped a bit. And that's it. It's already ready and I'll just bring it out. So I'm going over to dicing the bell peppers. I have the yellow, the green, and the red bell peppers. So I'm just going to dice them. After that, I'll you know get them into a Ziploc bag, airtight, and put in the freezer. So this is like my prepping stage. This is how I prep. Whenever I have like a food tray order, I prep a night before. Yeah. So all the bell peppers have been chopped, and they're going to be in the Ziploc bag and into the freezer. The client also requested for cupcakes, chocolate cupcakes, and that's what I'm doing right now. I was supposed to use a measuring cup to, you know, scoop this into the cupcake papers, but for some reason, I, I didn't use the measuring cup. You can see the green measuring cup there, but I didn't use it because, you know, I just eyeballed it because I, I know the measurements, but don't be like me. I normally, you know, for accuracy, I always use the measuring cups because I know what cup gives me a full cupcake. But that night I was just too tired plus part of my voice it cracked like I don't know whether it was because I was shouting at the market trying to price things by the time I got home like I was almost losing my voice I'm sure you can hear it even as I'm speaking so I'm just filling up the cupcake papers with the butter I mean look at this butter now even me looking at this butter you can tell that the chocolate is going to be rich chocolate cake will be nice this is what you get when you use good quality cocoa powder and you have a very good recipe the cake is out of the oven so this is the next day and you can see everything has been prepped you prep like this to make your work easy so i'm going to go over to wash the basmati rice put it on fire i'm going to get the fried rice ready i've already fried my veggies I'm checking the fried rice right now to see if you know it needs a little bit more water or something so the fried rice is ready in fact basically everything is ready I'm just gonna cover this pot and show you the next one so this is the stir fried jollof spaghetti I love this I really really love this it tastes delicious I love the fried rice too trust me I did cook and I know it okay so this is the um, pepper turkey and just take a look at this don't you just want to have this so this these are the trays i'll be using today i'm not using the wooden tray for the wooden trays it's more expensive so these are the the trays i'll be using today it's the aluminium trays it comes with a lid and some do not come with a lid you can decide to stand it like this and use like a wrapping paper to hold it depending if you have wine and all of that or you can decide to lay your juice your water into the tray whichever one works so yeah this is the nano tape you need nano tape for your food tray business so you're just going to cut it like this
it has two sticky sides but one part is covered I'm just going to take out the, the covered part now so what you do is that you after you served your food you dished your food and you wrapped it in clean film you want to place it at the back like so yeah and just stick it on your food tray or on the aluminum tray like I'm doing right now so that's just basically you must have you know wrapped your food in cling film first don't forget so that it doesn't stick to the cling film after wrapping it you stick it to the back and place it in your food tray very very important so that your food doesn't move around or your water doesn't move around i hope you were able to learn this trick so i wanted to dish off camera but i just thought to show you how i dish the food into the plates for those of you that do not know how to even dish your food you do it gradually you don't want to overfill but you want to make sure that it is properly filled so you want the first step is to dish out everything dish your turkey the plantain your rice your fruit just make sure that everything is set you can see how i'm pressing the rice right now with the spoon just to make it intact part of my voice yeah so that's what you want to do at this stage if you have any part that is soured, maybe the edges you want to make sure that you clean that with um tissue or a paper towel just make sure that it is very neat and attractive so this is what it looks like it is full but it's not too full yeah this is the jollof stir fry spaghetti and i'm fluffing it up you know you can see it's not soggy it's just the right you know texture and it's so delicious so i'm just going to dish the spaghetti also i'll just keep you know doing it gradually you don't want to rush this process just take it one at a time Fill it gently, keep checking for any sides that have space, you fill it up gently and then when you get to the top, pick out a little bit of the veggies, sausages and place it on top just for garnishing. And this is what it should look like, okay? You can see it looks beautiful. After dishing out everything, just get your trays ready place the food in your trays you would need pictures you need videos so that is why you are doing this you need to show what your food looks like okay so that's why i'm doing this and i, I would advise you also do this you know take your pictures then remove the food out of the tray wrap in cling film and then repeat the process of rearranging it back into the tray just take a look at this even from the looks you can tell that this is so delicious it is delicious i mean this is not your regular kind of food tray so i'm just arranging the food now into the trays i've already placed the nano tape at the back after wrapping with cling film okay so i'm about to frost the cupcakes with the whipped cream you can see how stable this whipped cream is yeah it is super stable it's not the type that will melt on you easily Please pardon my voice. I have to keep saying please pardon my voice because it's a little cracked, but I just have to get this video out here for you guys. All I'm doing now is just to first watch me do this. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. Please subscribe right now and like this video. So at this point, I'm just placing everything. I'm just arranging the toppings on the cake. If you also have any video you'd like to see me upload next, you can make use of the comment section. Let's interact. I'll always be there to reply you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my chocolate topping sauce over it and drizzle it a little bit over it just to make it look more beautiful. And then, of course, for taste.
so everything is ready at this point and i'm just you know taking making videos of it you know for my personal use or for the clients to see that okay everything is intact the driver is here this is how i place my foot tray in the car i make sure that it's sitting properly and if i need to like assist it or elevate it a bit at some point i just elevate it maybe with water a bottle of water or something i just pack it maybe with a newspaper if i have any and my cupcakes i place it on the floor mat in the car 